Jesus Christ is the light of the world. The light no darkness can overcome. Stay with us, Lord, for it is evening, and the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness and illumine your church. in the sky to govern night and day. 
in a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. You led your people into freedom. Enlighten our darkness by the light of your Christ. May your word be your lamp to our feet and a light to our path. For you are merciful and you love your whole creation. And with all your creatures we give you glory. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. A reading from Luke. Someone in the crowd said to him, Teacher, tell my brother to divide the family inheritance with me. But he said to him, Friend, who set me to be a judge or arbitrator over you? And he said to them, Take care. Be on your guard against all kinds of greed, for one's life does not consist in the abundance of possessions. Then he told them a parable. The land of a rich man produced abundantly, and he thought to himself, What should I do? For I have no place to store my crops. Then he said, I will do this. I will pull down my barns and build larger ones, and there I will store all my grain and my goods. And I will say to my soul, Soul, you have ample goods laid up for many years. Relax, eat, drink, be merry. But God said to him, You fool! This very night your life is being demanded of you, and the things you have prepared, whose will they be? So it is with those who store up treasures for themselves, but are not rich toward God. He said to his disciples, Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat, or about your body, what you will wear, for life is more than food, and the body more than clothing. Consider the ravens. 
they neither sow nor reap. They have neither storehouse nor barn, and yet God feeds them. Of how much more value are you than the birds? And can any of you by worrying add a single hour to your span of life? If then you are not able to do so small a thing as that, why do you worry about the rest? Consider the lilies, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin, yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not clothed like one of these. But if God so clothes the grass of the field, which is alive today and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, how much more will he clothe you, you of little faith? And do not keep striving for what you are to eat and what you are to drink, and do not keep worrying. For it is the nations of the world that strive after all these things, and your Father knows that you need them. Instead, strive for his kingdom, and these things will be added to you as well. Holy Wisdom, Holy Word, thanks be to God. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the Church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, have mercy. For this virtual gathering and for all who offer their worship and praise, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the health of the creation, for abundant harvests that all may share, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For public servants, the government, and those who protect us, for those who work to bring peace, compassion, justice, healing, and protection in this and every place, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel, for those who are sick and suffering, and for those who are in captivity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For all servants of the church, for Elizabeth, our presiding bishop, for Pedro, our bishop, for Daniel, our pastor, and for all people who await from the Lord great and abundant mercy, especially Alvin, Amanda, Andy, Angela, Bernie, Bill, Caitlin, Camille, Carolyn, Chris, Cindy, CJ, Clay, Dawn, Debbie, Elaine, Elton, Frank, Gary, Habitia, Jack, Jameson, Janet, Jamie, Jerry, John, Jordan, Julie, Karen, Keenan, Ken, the Kirkland family, Lee, Leslie, Linda, Maria, Maya, Mimi, Marion, Monica, Pastor Scholl, Pastor Bell, Patty, Pete, Palm, Renee, Riley, Robert, Rosemary, Ruth, Shirley, Stephen, Stephen, Sue, Susanna, Thomas, Towns, Troy, Trudy, Yvonne, and Zachary. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who work against the COVID-19 virus, caring for the sick, providing support services, and those working for a vaccine, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For deliverance in the time of affliction, wrath, danger, and need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Together with the World Council of Churches, we pray for the United States of America and Canada. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Friends, for what else shall we pray? Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord. Giving thanks for all who have gone before us and are at rest, rejoicing in the communion of all the saints, we commend ourselves, one another, and our whole life to you, through Christ our Lord. To you, O Lord. O God, from whom come all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works. Give to us, your servants, that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey your commandments, and also that we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may live in peace and quietness through Jesus Christ our Savior, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever. Amen gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, 
Let us pray together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May God's peace be with us all.